how's everybody doing today? As you can see, I'm coming with another video. You, <laughs> this video is going to be special, like all the rest of them is. Okay, remember on my last video, I told you I was going to be adding something to my videos. Okay, today starts the day. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make something. Okay, this tomorrow we will celebrate what's called Yom Teruah or Feast of Trumpets. I know some people celebrated yesterday. Uh, some people would still will celebrate later, but tomorrow is for us. Okay, and so we are preparing our meal for tomorrow. Uh, because it is, since it is on the first of the month, it is a, a Sabbath, okay? So, what I'm going to show you what we're making. I, we don't, since we don't eat potatoes around here, we eat keto in this, you know, we eat keto. So, we don't eat rice, we don't eat potatoes, we don't eat white flour. Uh, the only thing basically we eat, might eat is um, cauliflower and a few other things, okay? So, what I'm going to make is, it's a cauliflower salad. It's just like making potato salad, but we're using cauliflower instead, okay? Now, usually you would boil your cauliflower like you would do potatoes, but instead I put it in the oven and roasted it because they don't get as mushy. and It has a little bit more flavor if you could say cauliflower got flavor. But that's the way I used to do my potatoes, too, when I used to make potato salad. I would bake them instead of boiling them, and it has so much more flavor. Okay, now, this is our cauliflower, all right? And in that, just like in potato salad, we have green onions, okay? We have celery. And I'm also using bell flour. I mean, um... Yeah, bell flowers, uh, bell peppers, I mean, you know, the little, the little bitty ones. And um, I chopped everything up and I'll, you know, put it in this little bowl so I'd have everything done because um, you guys need to see all that tedious stuff. So, yes, I got everything already chopped up. My cauliflower, like I said, is, is roasted or baked or whatever you want to call it and it's in this bowl. And um, the only thing I'm going to do so you guys can see is um, do the uh, 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 um, the dressing, the, the, um, mayonnaise, the mayo, okay? I'll let you see me do the mayo because that doesn't take that much time either. So, I didn't bring my measuring spoons. Let me go get my measuring spoons and the rest of the stuff out the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere! Okay, everything that's going in our, let me move all my stuff out the way that I'm done with. Okay, done with that. Done with these. Gotta put those away. Okay, now. Everything that we need to go into our mayonnaise. jar that we usually have it in it still has a little bit left in it so I'm just gonna I'm going to add what I'm about to make to it okay now this is my blender right here that we're gonna add everything to okay let me pull my sleeves up out the way okay Let 
we're gonna add four eggs. We got to get this sitting down so you guys can see. shells in there all right everything's good let me wipe this off okay now we're gonna add one tablespoon of white vinegar let me pour this over here so I won't do too much all right then we're gonna do one tablespoon of lemon juice. We usually use fresh lemon juice, but I don't have no lemons today, so I'm using this one. This is, uh, it's organic, so it's cool. Just about everything we cook with is organic. Most of the time, because sometimes you just can't find it, okay? Okay, now we're going to put two tablespoons of Dijon mustard right here. Okay. All right. Ooh, this is just about gone. We have to get a new one of these because we make this all the time. This is our favorite salad dressing. Okay, we usually put a lot of garlic in this, but um, today I'm not going to put as much garlic in as I normally do because, like I said, um, we uh, this is going to go on. Yeah, this is going to go on a uh, the cauliflower salad. Okay, we're going to put in. One teaspoon of pink salt. Usually I have the um, Celtic salt, Celtic sea salt, but we use both of them just a little bit more. Okay. And with that, I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of dill. Okay. And... Uh-oh, I didn't even open up my garlic all the way. I usually use fresh garlic, but what the heck? I'm going to use this minced garlic, okay? And I'm going to use a okay, push it down to the and I'm going to use a tablespoon of this okay all right okay everything that goes in the refrigerator I'm gonna put up and put away put away as I go that's the way I cook y'all I even wash dishes as I go. I'll wash them that when I get done, but putting away everything so it'll all be out the way. Okay. All right. So now, let me push the table over so the plug to the blender will reach so you guys can see me blend this, okay? And our oil we're using is avocado oil. This is our oil of choice, okay? It costs a little bit more, but um, it's... Um, Better for you, I do believe. Okay. 
Okay, let me pull this table up. Okay, there we go. All right, now let me turn the camera around so y'all can see. Okay. All right. Okay, you don't necessarily have to see me as long as you can see the blender. Okay. If you don't put this on here right, it'll loosen up. All right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna get our oil ready. Okay. Let you know that hey it's ready because it is thick see oh yeah that's good all right okay now we are going to assemble our salad the only thing I didn't do is eggs because you can put eggs in here too but I'm not gonna do it this time okay now let me uh put the vegetables in. Okay, let me turn this camera back around. Okay, we got our vegetables in there. Okay, let me put some of our mm, that's delicious. Okay, now, if you're vegan, you know, this is done, you know, because like I said, you don't have to add eggs and nothing to yours, uh, but, hey, eggs, that, like I said, it's like a potato salad, it's a mock potato salad. Okay, let me add just a little bit more. Okay, let me get a fork so I can taste. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Sprinkle a little salt. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Wait a minute, I'm switching this 
switching this over to another bowl. Wipe that out. sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top because like I said it's like we're doing uh, potato salad okay there you go cauliflower salad I'm gonna put this on here and I'll put this in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna put the rest of this the dressing uh oh. Okay, I had to make room. Put the rest of the dressing in the jar right here. There we go. Yeah, this is delicious. You guys ought to give this a try. This is really good. All right, hold on, y'all. Got to get a spatula. Uh-oh. You know, I, I make mess every time I, uh, I don't care what I do. I always make a mess. So... We want to get all, or as much as we can out of here, get it all this goodness in the jar. All right. And that's our mayonnaise. I'll try to remember to put the ingredients to this in the description box, but if I don't, remember, remind me. So I don't have nothing to do. Okay, let me turn this around now. Okay, now that's our cauliflower salad. It's made just like you would do potato salad. Um, the only thing I don't use that some people might use is green bell peppers because I particularly don't care for the taste of those because they're not right no way. So. Um, yeah, um, very easy to make. You roast or you bake your cauliflower. I call it roasted. You roast your cauliflower. You put, I use, like I said, uh, celery, green onions, and the red, yellow, and orange bell pepper. I use the little sweet ones, as you can see. <laughs> and then I just made the dressing for eggs, um, one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of uh, Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of dill, and then I used uh, olive oil as my oil base. So, now, if this is the first time you ever watch any of my videos, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, hit that little bell, share, and um yeah and like okay like okay hit give me a like put that thumbs up okay now uh it was nice to be back to show you guys that's one of my favorite foods eating keto i will be bringing a lot of other keto dishes because like i said that's the way we eat uh so um yeah 
And I think I've asked you guys before, if there's anything special you would like to see me do, let me know. Put it in the comments and we'll see if we can make it happen for you. Okay, you guys. Saying if all you guys who are celebrating with us tomorrow, I want to wish you a, a Shag Shemayak Yam Teruah. Uh, for those of you who already celebrate, same to you. And for those who are celebrating in the future, same to you. Okay, with that, I'm going to say... Shalom.